G'day folks, how are you? So, exhaust install done. Uh, I'm reasonably happy. It's a little loud for my liking. Um, but hey, it uncorked up. So, uh, it'll probably take me a week to edit that footage. But in the meantime, uh, I've got this little tidbit for you. I've got my 3D cycle parts, windscreen riser kit, uh, adjustable too. So there you go. I think it's reasonably intuitive. Uh, I did see an install video a couple of weeks, a few weeks ago, which made me decide to buy them from memory. These brackets here uh, what am I doing? I've got a camera on my head. It's been a big day. So if I put you down there. Iron Maiden. Okay. I've always wanted to do that. So let's get to this. Uh, I think the brackets from memory on the install video, uh, you pull this all off, you take the brackets off, you put uh, those mounts on here, I think it's on the inside. You put them on and then you just bolt this back on the way it is. Just got a breakdown of uh, what it looks like. So the way it's set out, it looks like it goes inside the existing brackets. And then your original mounts just go under here and that's your adjustability. So let's, uh, I think it's a great idea. I was thinking of, of making something myself uh, that you could adjust, um, but I don't have to. Why not just use this great company, 3D Cycle Parts? Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we shall Get our Kawasaki Green Unboxer out, Ooh. which has a rusty blade. Get our knobs. They seem reasonably strong. I guess you're not going to torque it down to any ridiculous specifications. There's our thread locker. Whoop. So, we'll work out what's left and right here. Because the way I'm looking at it here gives the impression it doesn't really say fore or aft. So, we might just have to have a little bit of a look-see beforehand. What do we got here? course the writing would go to the outside yeah okay so we've established left and right got our two bolts there two bolts there these are to adjust and these go here like so okay clear as mud First up, we'll take the windscreen off. One, two. Now these, you don't talk up very much. Uh, it'll break the windshield. I talk too much. Somebody put that in the comments for me. Uh, and I'm happy... Uh, uh, as it's his name Dale, as he he says, leave a negative comment if you like. I want to know. I want to know how I can do things better. I want to know how I can get to the thousand subscriber mark. You know, and, and I hate to rattle on about it, but uh, you know, you would be living under a rock if you didn't realise that. That, that's your initial goal, is to get a thousand subscribers, 
uh, 4,000 watch hours. Like, it's a fair task, especially when you don't use social media. I, I don't use Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or anything like that. Anyway, that's the windshield. Off. Next is our... Brackets. I wonder if this is going to be a real time video. Remember when I first started making videos, they were real time. Not much editing went into them. Now I'm getting a little bit more creative. Don't need that. And it might be best just to sort of leave these one way up so I remember how they went. So I'll just put them over here. Put this one over here. Too easy. Okay. Now this this is probably going to be the easiest job I've done all day. Let's uh, crack this thread locker. It's red Loctite or purple, so there must be a reason why they've given us that. And I quite like this uh, 3D cycle parts actually, they've got quite a, a range. Okay, I'm not going to tighten them up too tight yet. I'll do this side. I'll put it together loosely so, just in case I'm doing it wrong. I like people who use spring washers. I, I use spring washers in a lot of things because it just gets that extra torque to what you're doing without putting strain on, on the hardware itself. This should be a reasonably quick video to edit. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think the lock top will do the job and the spring washers. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to put too much that's uh, strain on that thread. Okay, so I think the brackets go back on. I think you throw those bolts away, I think. I think so. So we put Loctite on these two. Obviously, they say everything apart from... Of course, you're not going to put it on the adjustables. On there, and isn't it nice of them to send it along with it? With you, huh? That's good. It's nice. 
Okay, so I'm just going through the bottom hole. Uh, I might give that a little wipe off because it's a little dirty in there. I mm, should have washed it before I did this. Anyway, you get that. I ride this bike every day, so look at that. And I say, this goes in here. It's exciting. Woohoo! How cool is that? Now that was took something out of the thought process because I did put them the way I took them off. So one less thing you have to think about, which is always handy. Nice. And this goes on here. So we'll put it in the highest highest position to start with. So I'm, I'm interested to see how my quad lock is going to go here, or my instrument panel. That's in the highest setting. Uh, I would, if you purchase this product, I would take it especially easy on this plastic. Uh, and from memory, I think he actually says in the uh, install video to take it easy uh, you don't need to tighten them up too much I'll tighten those bottom ones but I won't over tighten them because it's still going to have to spin isn't it they got locked tight on them that's tight enough I'm happy with that Because these are aluminium, you've got to be careful with aluminium steel. And steel's harder than aluminium, so it strips it out very easy. Okay, windscreen. Let's go, Jaddy. You're onto it. Now these, of course, you don't lock tight. Because I go through this uh, rubber washer and I don't think they're ever going to rattle loose because I think the washer would stop that. Uh, the whole thing, the whole thing's rubber. Mm, anyway. How are we going, folks? Remember, if you like what I'm doing here, please like, subscribe, notification bell, so you can tell when I bring out a new vid. Um, if you don't like what I'm doing, no need to. Oh, yeah, that creates a little bit more room and it's really something Kawasaki should have done from the factory. Hey, but yes, that's why we, that's why it's only a $10,000 bike and not a $20,000 bike. Thank you, Kawasaki. Thank you for cutting corners. I'll tell you what, by the time I get there, I think I would have spent about 10 grand on it, but seriously, you're gonna do that to a $20,000 bike anyway. Beautiful. Okay, shall we nip them a little bit? I like that. Okay. 
All right. difference wow oh and i can get more room up here for my quad lock oh yes that's awesome that is amazing so can i adjust them on the fly reach over loosen oh yes yeah. so one will go one way one will go the other way can i adjust it on the fly i can Okay, so when I go off-road, I can adjust it like that. Wow, that's cool. And I can get all the air I need. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, man, I want to take it for a run and feel what the difference is. The problem is I've been doing this all day. Oh, wow. That is amazing. The difference, the room... It gives to the cockpit. It is awesome. How does it feel standing up? I better put the kickstand down. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well done, 3D cycle parts. I approve. Ah, I like it. Well, there you bloody well have it. That's two videos today. Um, what do you reckon? She looks smart, doesn't she? What's the profile look like? A little bit more of a... Hmm, she's hardly a Dakar-inspired motorcycle, is she? <laughs> but I tell you, she does the job. And, and, you know, you can see my Delkovic stickers I've put on. The one there, one there. I've already put my 3D cycle part sticker on. Around the back here, Delcovic Performance Exhaust. Yeah. And around here, I had a little bit of a spot too. Cool. Wow, man. Guess what it is? Josh, what is it? Yeah, you know what it is. It's efficient mint. <laughs> Iron Maiden. Ooh. Uh, look, I know if you don't like Iron Maiden, I'm sorry. But it's just I'm stirring a friend of mine who I really care about and she hates Iron Maiden. She said she liked them until she heard me play them like a thousand times in a row. Yeah. Okay. All right. I've got to go, guys. This has been an awesome day. Uh, have I got time to take it for a test run? Why not? Let's take it for a test run. Okay, I couldn't just help myself. I had, I had to know how this windscreen works at speed. So I'm pretty optimistic. I'm not wearing a jacket. I've just got my T-shirt on. I'm not, I won't be going too far anyway. Okay, so, let's give it a go, eh? Oh, wow. What a difference that makes. It really makes a big difference. Now, you've seen me before trying to talk. Let's see what a hundred days looks like. That's a hundred. I can't believe. I can't 
made a great motorcycle. I don't care what anyone says.
Thanks for watching, guys.